Hey everybody, Akiris here. Welcome back to The Long Dark, episode number 32, Sandbox Survival version 2.71. So here we are in the Lone Lake cabin. Uh, sought refuge here from the freezing cold temperatures. As you can see, we're starting to recover a little bit there. We're getting a little bit hungry, but that's okay. We got fish over in the uh, fishing hut. So, and we got a little bit of it on us here. So we're good to go. Um, you can go ahead and probably just eat these real quick might as well and we're waiting for the bear to come by I'm trying to get my my first bow kill with the bear and um, so far we haven't seen the bear yet so let's see here colds going up full dry mouth let's get a little drink got plenty of water that we're hauling around here now the idea is if we can ideally we take down the bear we harvest it we grab all the meat from it best we can, um, take it to the camp office, settle in there. Um, might have to use a flare to get there. I don't know. It's going to be pretty, might have to make a couple trips cause there's going to be a lot of bear meat. Um, so anyway, that's where we're at right now. Seven hours of daylight left. Let's take a little peek outside here. So I'm hoping he'll show up here eventually. Um, I've been told that the uh, porch here will protect me from the bear. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of protection for it to give me, but uh, I've been told that. And uh, I think the uh, fishing hut will also protect me too. If we do end up in a bad, uh, really bad way, then uh, at least the camp office isn't too far away. So it's looking kind of nasty out there. Let's go ahead and grab an hour of sleep, see if he shows up here while we warm up a little bit. So let's just go ahead and rest for an hour. I don't want to rest too long. The idea being that if I sleep too long, I might just miss him passing through our area here. So that was one of the reasons uh, someone suggested in the comments that, uh, you know, you should fish longer. Or like eight hours, something like that. Uh, get settled in for that. And uh, I think that's, I'm just seeing wolves out there the moment not seeing the bear anywhere around here but the uh, same thing is I don't want to be stuck looking down at my fishing hole while the bear walks past me and disappears off into the sunset so I've been doing shorter fishing uh, times but uh, I do I do agree I do think that uh, your line is less likely to break if you do it if you fish longer rather than a bunch of short little uh, uh, fishing attempts. So let's rest again here. This could be a very very exciting episode, or it could be a very boring episode. And I apologize in advance if it turns out to be a boring episode, but sometimes them's the breaks, as I like to as I like to say. So far, I haven't coughed either at the start of the episode. See, I keep looking over here and thinking these are the bears, but they're not. So, funny story. Um, while I was at work today, my wife took uh, my daughters, uh, Ellie and Madeline, to uh, to this little, like, sort of like petting farm zoo thing. Uh, sort of a refuge for, for animals. And one of the animals they had there was a wolf. And uh, there was another little girl that uh, one of my wife's friends from work, uh, she had... Uh, her daughter Jordan with her and um, Jordan was real skeptical of all the animals and Ellie wanted to just go up and feed everything and uh, she had a little little feeding kit that was put together that you buy and uh, you know the funds go towards funding the uh, the refuge so it's not too bad and um, anyway so she had her little ooh, it's getting kind of cloudy here she had her little feeding kit for all the different animals it tells you which animals you can feed which ones you can't um, so she was uh, she was just getting right in there, having a good good old time. They have a wolf there, and <laughs> Ellie went to went to pet the wolf, and the wolf growled at her, and Ellie backed off. So anyway, yep, <laughs> my my wife or my daughter has had a, a closer encounter with wolves today than I have actually, even virtually. Uh, so all right, well, I'm still not seeing the bear. We might just be stuck here for the night, but that's okay. Three hours of daylight. Well, 
Michael made a, a really good point. He's like, I've never seen a bear at night in this game. And I, I'm thinking back, I'm like, you know what? Neither have I. Um, lots of wolves. Oh, it looks like a storm's moving in. We're going to want to stay away from the blizzards, man. That really hammered our, uh, hammered our, I mean, just a short little time we went from the fishing hut to the, to this uh, little cabin here. Our clothing took a beating. Oh, well, we're not going to be even able to see a bear if there was one out here. That's why we can't see what time of day it is, it's just because of how foggy it is. So, all right. Well, I don't. If, even if I could, even if there is a bear out there, this is not the way I would want to hunt it. I don't want to be out there in the fog. All right, eighty percent condition anyway. So once it hits nighttime, we'll, we're just going to go ahead and sleep for the full eight hours. But uh, I do want to keep taking little peeks out here if I can. Ooh, it's just getting worse. It's not good. Okay. Not not the most ideal situations for for the hunt. How much time we got left? Uh oh wait, that's right. So when it hits seven hours, that's when I go to nighttime. So I got one hour left and uh it's gonna be nighttime by the time I wake up, so we'll rest for one hour and just double check, see if there's anything at dusk. Nice little pro tip there. I was wish I could take credit for it, but I can't. It was uh, viewers like you that uh, gave me that little tip of uh, noting what time of the day my my clock goes from day to night. So, or what hour of the day? All right, complete darkness. So, I don't think we're gonna have any luck out there. Let's go ahead and grab some sleep. We are a little bit thirsty. Get some of that drink. We should be able to make it through the night, no problem. This will help our uh, condition as well, so. I'd be a little hesitant going after a bear with 80% condition, just because I know if, if I do end up getting caught by the bear, it's gonna take me down to 10, even if I have 100%, so it's gonna take out 90% of my health and yeah, we're two hours left to let's get back to bed here let me get something to drink I could probably be I could probably sleep the next two hours without getting too thirsty but might as well just take the drink and be safe about it but I know if uh, if a bear is going to do 90% damage to me having 80% health it's not exactly uh it's not a good combination the mathematics just don't work out in my favor I think at the end of that equation, you end up with a negative number. <laughs> and uh, negative numbers in this game, for condition, mean death. So, uh, yeah. Beautiful snow, though. A little bit big, though. I still think the snowflakes are a little big. I wish they'd make them a little bit smaller. It's pretty cold out. There's more wolves out there. Still patrolling. I kind of want to just kind of do a little walk around here if I can. Just for the heck of it. As long as it doesn't get too too blizzardy. Well, at least in the comments of the last video, nobody said, No, that's not the right area. April Moen was uh, giving me a hard time saying, yeah, yeah, that's right, I'm trolling you. Like, geez, my executive producers are trolling me. Now she's being sarcastic, though. But, uh, there's a, apparently when I walk down here, there's a bear den that I passed. Doesn't mean he's going to be sleeping in there or anything like that. It's just a little bear den. I, I never really noticed it, though. All right, let's head back in here. I just want to double check, see how much fish I got in here. And I got a lot. No, oh, I thought I had a lot. Not really. I'll eat this little small morsel of fish. 82 calories. I have to do some more fishing by uh, by tomorrow. If we still haven't seen the bear, what is that out there? 
That's in the wolf again. I think. Yeah, that's a wolf. They have their half of the lake, I have my half of the lake. <laughs> and uh, then I guess at nighttime they get the entire lake. But uh, I'm happy just staying on my side. Now I heard that there's some excellent fishing at on coastal. Uh, someone's telling me you could catch like a freaking huge salmon out there. Something like a <clears throat> I think it was like eleven. Now oh, shoot, there's the cough. I jinx myself. Still not seeing it. Check my clothing here. The socks are starting to wear. The coat's okay, so it's not because it's not a blizzard and we're not taking that any damage right there on the coat, but man, that blizzard really did hammer it pretty good. Yep. Just want to double check and make sure that they are in fact wolves. It would be nice to have binoculars. I would imagine that would be something that you would probably run into here. I mean, especially since it seems like you can go up onto the uh, lookout and look down across the land and anywhere that you can see, if there's an animal that could be there, it's actually already drawn in. There's The draw distance is really good in this. So, All right, let's just do our little rest thing where we rest for an hour, check, rest and check, rest and check. But uh, I don't. I think if we don't have any luck here, we might try uh, our hand at coastal. Cause I nope. Oh, I keep thinking that that's going to be the bear over there, but it's it's not. Thirty three degrees, so technically we're warming up. Hmm. Part of me thinks that maybe taking down a wolf would be a good idea. I guess that we got that option maybe tomorrow if need be. With the bow. Let me bring a, bring a wolf over here and uh, drop him right outside the door here. Make a little campfire and cook up the meat. Maybe do some repairs on our jacket while we're at it. Nah, not really. I think uh, I think if we use a wolf pelt right now, we'd we'd be wasting a lot of uh, a lot of the repair because we only we'd only need to repair it eight percent. So let's go ahead and do another hour of sleep here. My whole body right now is really cold. Just had some ice cream. And uh, I'm just getting like the chills. Plus I'm playing this game, so it's sort of like not really making me feel nice and warm and cozy. But uh, So if you start hearing my teeth chatter or something like that, that's probably the reason why. Still not seeing the bear. He's not on the roof, is he? Okay. Hmm. All right. I keep thinking, man, this is like a really boring episode, but uh, whenever I start thinking that, they start to get exciting really fast, so... I think survival, if you're, if you're bored while you're surviving, it's probably a good thing. It means that you're in control at least and there's nothing catastrophically going wrong at that moment. That's always a good thing. We're down to 844 calories. So, got about 400 in the uh, fishing hut. Might go out there and do a little bit more fishing if the weather's still good. Let's check the temperature. See what it is. Oh, what do we got here? Is that, that's just a wolf. Shoot. There's another wolf. Are you guys sure that there's a bear that comes through here? I don't know. I swear I've never seen one. Hmm. 41 degrees. Pretty good. If we're going to fish. We might as well do it now. Make sure there's no bear behind my house about to flank me. All 
Alright, yeah, let's just do some fishing here. We've got seven hours of daylight left, so let's do like four hours of fishing. Hopefully we catch some good fish out here. Probably all white fish or bass, but... I think it was I think it was salmon they said on coastal. Now I'm not so sure about it. Maybe it's tuna. I can't remember. All right, I'm gonna eat this one here. Down to 743 calories. Let's eat that bad boy. All right, it's gonna take a little bit here to break up this hole. Oh, it's starting to get a little. Foggy-ish, okay. Just remember, as soon as I go out the door, it's like 11 o'clock and I'm going to intentionally miss and just go 9 o'clock. So when I hit the... I'm going to... It's, it's a... Rather than aim straight at the uh, cabin and, uh, you know, let's say it was completely foggy and I thought I was aiming straight at the cabin. When I reach the coast, I might think that even though I'm over here, I might think I'm over here so I'd make a right and go the wrong way. So I'm going to intentionally miss to the left. That way I know when I hit the coast, I definitely want to go right. Um, it's a navigational sort of trick. But uh, pretty slick, pretty smart. Let's bust up this ice. I did check the temperature, didn't I? It is okay. The, yeah, 43 degrees, okay. Let's do some fishing. How much time do we got left? Seven hours still? Oh, so it didn't take that long to bust up the ice. Let's do, uh, do about, let me check my thirst. Oh yeah, I definitely need to drink. Let's do that. Can I sort of crouch while I, f okay, there we go. Um, let's try four hours. Uh, maybe three. I'm thinking. Let's do four. I don't want to miss the bear. That's the thing. Seriously? My line broke already? Wasn't that like a brand new line? That's why I don't like fishing. <laughs> okay, let's try again. So let's do three hours. Alright, well we caught one real quick there. Another one. And another one. Alright, well we got about almost 2,000 calories. Alright, well there we go. Oh wow, that was a big one. That was awesome. That was worth it. Completely worth it. The fishing gods must have taken pity on me for that uh, line breaking that quick. Alright, well I think what we'll do here is Go ahead and cook them up. Am I hauling any wood around or am I? Yeah, I got one piece here. How many do I got? I got a couple fish. I think, uh... Can I start a fire out here? Let me check something. Let's see if I can start my fire here with my magnifying glass. Can I? No. Not enough sunlight. Okay. Alright. Well, how much? How many calories you got? 633. Mm. If it were up to me, I'd actually just eat the fish raw. But I'm kind of worried about food poisoning if, if I do do that. Of course, if I get food poisoning, I could just eat the rest and then just take the antibiotics and rest. But uh, let's not do that. Let's not mess around with that. Alright, I really don't want to start another fire unless I have to, so... Let's uh let's throw this fish in here. We'll probably do some fishing tomorrow. Add to the pile, and then we'll do a big fish fry. Alright, let's head on back to our cabin where it's nice and toasty. Looks like the birds are back out. Maybe we'll get a couple extra feathers too. Two hours of daylight. Alright.
Any extra feathers? Come on. I think I see one. Yes. Alright, crow feather. Any more? Probably at least one more. Normally there's two. I'm just seeing the one for right now. Okay. Double check, make sure there's no bear. Not seeing anything. Just a beautiful foggy sunset. Okay. Let's head on inside here. Alright, down to 566 calories. 40 days. We made it 40 days. 5 hours, 23 minutes. So let's go ahead and um, got about two hours daylight left. Let's get something to drink and then we shall go ahead and rest. Hopefully we get a sunny day tomorrow. I'd like to start a fire with the magnifying glass for once. What I want to try to do is start a fire outside with the magnifying glass and then see if I can pull the torch out lit and then use that to start the stove. It's a little experiment. I want to try it. So we're going to need to sleep for probably about uh, 12 hours, something like that. We're going to be a little bit hungry when we wake up. We're going to be, we're going to be starving. But that's okay. Real close, 69 calories. Get ourselves a drink here. Head back to bed for five hours. Five hour energy. Good stuff. Thirteen hours of daylight. There we go. Yeah, starting to take a little bit of a condition hit due to hunger. Probably eat these cattails real quick. Oh, well, we got a little bit of action going on over here. Oh, check it out. The wolf packs are going after him. Got two of them chasing him down. Man. That's really tempting. That's real tempting. The problem is I got another wolf there. Hmm. That would be a lot of meat. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for the bear if possible. I'm going to keep waiting for that and keep fishing if I can. It looks pretty cloudy. I don't think we're going to get a fire started with this. So we might have to just eat some cattails here for the time being. We've got a few of these. I wonder how cold it is. I forgot to check. There we go. Back up to about 600 calories. Oh yeah, definitely not getting the... Not getting the fire started with the solar power. Do I see a cattail here? I think I do. Actually. A couple. Oh, good. Make that three. Four. Five. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of cattails. Let's fill up on cattails. I think... Th I can't wait for the story mode. I've had so much fun with the sandbox, I forget that there's even a story mode coming at times. But there is, so... We should definitely be excited about that. Any more cattails over here that I missed, maybe? I don't think so. Wait. Mm, no. I think we got them all. Okay. Let's do a little bit more fishing. There might be some over there. It's hard to see. I don't think so. That's just creepy, you guys. Cut it out. All right, um, let's eat up these cattails. Well, I guess this is going to end up being a boring episode. I'm really hoping that we bump into the bear. Okay. And we might as well drink. Now I'll grab a couple more bottles of water for the road. All right, only 59% frozen. Oh, good. We'll take that long to crack open again. 
Okay, let's do some more fishing here. There's one. Oh, I should have waited to see how big it was, but... Come on. 4.4 pounds. 4.29 pounds. Come on, one more. One more. That's it. Oh, okay. It's completely foggy out there. So yeah, now that I, I can't see the cabin, I'm, I'd actually aim to the left and on purpose, and then once I hit the shoreline, I'd uh, turn to the right rather than try to guess where I'm going to go. So, okay, let's... Uh, Here's our container. Let's get our food here. That's all we can carry there. So what do you guys think? You think I should have a fish fry now or do a little more cooking? How much time we got left? Got 22 hours. So we got like, basically got like nine hours of, of daylight left. I think we should do a little more fishing. Yeah, let's do this. And that'll leave us with six hours and we can cook for the remainder of the day. One more. All right, I'm happy. That's all we get, so be it. Oh, we broke our line. We down to one more line? I think we only have one line left, yep. That's okay, they're easy to make, just scrap metal, um, some guts, I think, to make the line. I think you can make it out of guts. So let's get to cooking here. Got a couple. I don't think I can get a fire started. I'd be shocked, but we'll give it a shot. With the magnifying glass, not a chance. Didn't think so. All right, let's get this going here. It's going to cost us a match, but I think we've done pretty good so far. 85% chance. Can I up my chance? Oh, I can with a stick, can I? Let's do that. 100% chance. I like those odds. Normally this is where I'm praying that it'll actually start and not go out, but I don't have that worry this time, strangely. Alright, but I do want to make sure that I add some wood before it does go out. Alright, hour 31. I, th I think we're going to need two of the wood in order to cook all the food, but we'll give it a shot. I know that the uh, fish doesn't take that long to cook, so nine minutes or something. We might just be able to do it on one fir wood. Um, might use the next one to... Well, I would say cook up water, but we have plenty of water, so I'll probably just save that fir wood. Now we still have the stuff that's in the cupboard too. There we go. Yeah, cooking fish just... Well, maybe we will need the extra. Maybe I can get away with sticks though. I might be able to... Supp oh yeah, I think we will. We're up to 96 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how long that bass takes. It was 47 minutes, but that bass was huge. It took 10 minutes, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to add the last log here. I don't think I have enough sticks, I don't think. How many do I have? One of seven? Uh, times eight, 50. That might work, actually, hold on. Okay, let's give that a shot, see how we do. Oh yeah, this still leaves us with two sticks to start fires. I actually overdid it a little bit, threw in probably too many sticks. Starting to get thirsty. Not bad, but I'm going to definitely grab a torch out of there. Let's do that. Haha. -ha. Sweet. Let's, ex Let's extinguish that bad boy real quick. Take a peek around. So we got a torch out of the deal. Not bad. Not seeing any... 
No bears. Alright, we are weighed down with food. That's a good problem to have. So, 84 pounds of food. I think we'll probably just take all this over to the... Uh, grab another water. Let's take all this over to the loan cabin there. How are we doing? Oh yeah, we're dehydrated. Let's get a drink real quick. There we go. I imagine those wolves are starting to go, wait a minute, something smells good over there on the other side of the lake. It would be interesting just to stand here and see what their behavior is, you know what I mean? It's 48 degrees. See if they start, you know, rallying the troops and start coming this way or not. I don't know. All right, everybody. Well, we've got a good amount of water. Got plenty of food here to last another day or two. And then I think we're ready to shove off and try somewhere else. If we don't see the bear in the next day or two, I'm ready to call it quits out here. And accept defeat. But, uh... Let's go ahead and drop this stuff. Um, let's, do we have a container? We do. I don't know if it's enough to carry all this, but... We're going to eat a couple of them, so... Let's go ahead and eat a few of these. I wonder what that sound is. It sounds like somebody pouring pills out onto a table or something. It doesn't sound like eating. That does. So I only eat, eat a partial one? Yeah, I did. I only ate a partial. I'm out there. Okay. Let's throw that back in here. And then we shall probably need something to drink here real quick. Well, we're in good shape. We don't have to worry about food, water, health, warmth, anything like that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sorry, guys. I'm sorry that we didn't see the bear in this episode. Lots of wolves. We did get to see the wolves uh, team up and take down a deer. And we did catch lots of fish, but uh, no bear. Three hours of daylight left. Well, we got two more chances here to see the bear before I bid you adieu. Alright, if I do see a bear, I'll probably end up saving my game and <laughs> making you guys wait for the next episode. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Yeah, the wolves decided to pack it in. Where did it go? Well, oh well, let's try one more hour. Ninety-nine percent health, so we regained a little bit of health right there. Not seeing him. Forty-one degrees outside. Let's see if we can find some more feathers real quick. Oh, there we go. Hey, wasn't a total loss. All right, everybody. Well. You win some, you lose some. Looks like we uh, we lost on this episode. But, uh, yeah, it was a good time. Fishing, watching the wolves, watching the wildlife. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the tip jar, or hit the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Acuras2. And uh, I'll see you guys in episode number, I think it's 33 now. Wow. So, uh, y'all take care, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you f so much for all the support. You guys are great, and... Um, you know, it's really overwhelming, so I do I do really appreciate it. And uh, see you in episode 33.